Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the video. It's me, Orange Master 23 Today, I'm going to be talking about Clash Royale because it is their fifth birthday. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright everyone, so yes, it is Clash Royale's fifth birthday, which means there is a new season pass with a new tower skin that you can collect at tier 10 and two emotes which one from tier 20 and the other one in the challenge which we'll get in a little bit and the rest of them are just chests and rewards that you can collect but first we want to look at the new arena that they added as well so I'm gonna hop into a match here and as you can see it's a giant cake with like a waffle looking bridge which I think that's what it is all the balloons and stuff And from what I heard, it's supposed to be a moving cake. Like, there's supposed to be wheels and stuff, but I don't know if that's for, like, a tablet or something. So this is going to be the first gameplay that I'm doing. I'm just going to play this match, try and win this, and then... We're gonna go on to the challenge and I'll help you guys like create a deck with the golem because if you can see right here I'm actually using one. Oh Alright well he is coming with the wizard on top of that side, the ice wizard. Alright, let's place the golem down with him. Wow, this is really cool. I like how they. It's a cake, the waffle bridge, and all this stuff. Alright, so he's got the knight and the skeletons coming down that side. Great. Just don't let him hit the tower. Don't let him hit the tower. Nice, okay. And he's able to summon his knight already. Great. Alright, let's send in this golem. It's not gonna do much, so I gotta send that. There we go. And look, the golem is still attacking his tower. Right here he comes with that. Just gotta place this. Okay, nope. Stop him there. Boom, connects with the tower. And then we should get this win. Oh. No way we're gonna get it. They're gonna they're gonna hit it. They're gonna hit it. Yes. No. Is it gonna make it? He's not. He's still trying to fight against my tower here. Man, this is going to be tough. He's almost down. Just stay down, please. <clears throat> and it is down. All right. We're good to send in this guy. Go, 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 go. Just rush it, just rush it. doesn't want it to get rushed. Oh, 
Please don't let that hit. Oh, where's he aiming for? Oh, gosh. Alright, if I just defend, I should be able to win because the timer is almost going down. So all I gotta do is defend. We got 15 seconds left on the clock. Yep, it's all over for this guy. Boom, and that's how you win a Clash Royale game, guys. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the new map, or the new arena real fast, which is really cool. It's a huge cake with all the balloons and the waffle bridges. And now I'm gonna, we're gonna go to the challenges, the new challenges that were added. Which the first one, um, you didn't need to collect any, or, or didn't collect losses, so you can play that as much as you want until you get the required wins you needed to move on to the second one, which the second one, which you can see right here, does require, or you, if you lose, it does count your losses and you will have to pay for it again. So I have created a deck right here. If you see right here, this is the deck that I use with the Elixir Golem. So we have the Witch, which she's good for. She can actually attack by herself most of the time, but is really good at backup. And we got the Mega Knight, which he takes care of the big units and then the units that are really irritating, like the distance one, like wizards and witches and stuff. Then we got the Magic Archer, which he is for air troops and also hitting multiple targets at once. So he's mostly good for defense and backing up other characters. So and then we got the Firecracker right here, which this one helps with taking down huge hordes, like the small hordes like skeleton, goblins, or the minions. And then we got the Barbarians over here, which they're there to take down the big units that only do one damage or no damage at all to my units. So they're mostly for defense too. Then we got the Executioner, which he just takes out the air units pretty good, so that's the reason why I got him. And then the Electric Wizard to slow down either air balloons or sparkies that people send on me, which is really good. So if you guys want to use this deck, it is right below me or we're seeing it right now on top screen. But anyways, yeah, so so far I'm undefeated for three times, and you gotta play nine times in order to complete this whole thing. And then yeah, once you get to the end, you get this emote, which this is the emote that I was talking to you guys about, the one that you can win from these challenges. But anyways, so yeah, let's just hop into one match and I can show you guys what, or how I use this deck. All right, so. I always start off like this with the weak person to do some damage and draw this card. And then this is where the barbarians come in. Take care of that. Man, I also have that coming. There we go. And yeah, I see the firecracker shooting at the knight, which is also hitting the goblins as well, which was really good. He's coming at that. We just placed down the witch here. Our stuff is still attacking up there. Oh, and also for wizards, like that ice wizard that's coming down. The Executioner is really good against them. Sometimes you won't need it. Here we go. Place him for a backup. And then just place these guys to help out with that. And right there, the Prince went down. Couldn't do anything to my back units. And that's how you take a tower. Place this, take care of that, yep. And now we wait. Lost a lot of damage, but we still got their tower down first. So then we see that coming, we'll just place him. 
Oh, there's that. I'm gonna try and take down my tower. Send this. Yeah, we want to get rid of that prince while this thing is coming down. We'll place the firecracker. Oh, never mind. He took out the firecracker. So then we'll just place that. He places that down. I'll drop him. He's dead. We'll place this guy to distract while he's going after the tower. Wow, this guy is really trying. Let me just place some more units to help. All right, this might be three star. I don't know. Nope, never mind. Come on, three star. There's a lot of troops. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Oh, there we go. I just got three crowns just before the timer ended. Boom, and that's how it's done, everybody. So yeah, if you wanna use this deck, you can use it. I like to try and help people out. And hopefully this did help, but yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for more videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.